On this episode of the Angle of Attack show, North Carolina, the birthplace of aviation, from an awesome flight school, a friend that's a retired U.S. Army Golden Knight turned flight instructor, to the birthplace of aviation where Wilbur and Orville Wright first conquered the air with powered flight, challenging winds, and more, it was a big item to check off the bucket list. My home, Alaska, is also home to some of the last true aviators. My mission? Grow as an aviator through flying with my neighbors and friends in the backcountry and beyond. At times I'll strike out on my own, even outside the 49th state, seeking new experiences, growing skills, staying sharp, and practicing safety. Jump aboard and ride along in this, another chapter of my aviation story. Don't let anyone tell you that anything in aviation comes without sacrifice. I'd be leaving my home in Alaska to go south to pursue my certified flight instructor training. Now, I'd be leaving my young family, my boy of just a few months old. Every day with him is precious. Every moment, you see a new fun little thing every day, and I'd really be missing that over these weeks. But knew that to progress for my family to be a provider, this was a step that I needed to take. For the first part of my trip, I'd be hanging out with Dave Herwig, who I met on Instagram. He's an instructor I really look up to and does a great job at Cape Fear Aviation Flight Training just south of Fayetteville, no, North Carolina. Now I've been around the block a few times, I've been to a lot of different flight schools, and this one just has a, a special feel to it. You feel a sense of community when you step in the door at Cape Fear, and just this overall welcoming Southern hospitality spirit. I was able to kind of be a fly on the wall for some um, check ride preparation from some of Dave's students. <laughs> What's this area right in here called? <laughs> Military operations area. Do we have to call anybody to go in there? No. Okay. Huh? You don't have to. You could ask. Yeah. Right. So he's gonna. That's the type of thing. Is you're gonna get out here. You're gonna say you're gonna be on your first waypoint and it's gonna go to a deviation. Okay. Inside the flight school is the perfect place to be during some North Carolina rain showers. So we'd rest and then the next morning we would plan for our flight to First Flight Airport. Now Dave comes from a very proud background and one that deserves mad respect. He jumped for 12 years with the U.S. Army Golden Knights Parachute Demonstration Team. He amassed somewhere around 2,300 jumps, and all that time he was a part of aviation, around aviation, and so after he retired, he planned on continuing that dream and staying in aviation, so that's why he is where he is today. Keeping that center line, keeping that power, a little bit of right rudder. 50. Start to rotate. She wants to come up already, so let her go. There we go. Kind of looking good. Keep, that Keep my air speed up. Okay. Just let that wind take me. Add to the tree. Ooh, oh yeah. Good pick up the tree. I should put the last notch of flaps in or just leave it. Uh, I'd leave it. I wouldn't add no power though. Maybe it won't come down. Landing at 70? Yeah. Okay, it's good. Looking good now. Add a little bit of power. There you go. <laughs> this is what kill level hell is going to be like? Oh, yeah, of course. Hold up, 
Come on, baby. Come on. There you go. So this is Dare County, which is just a few miles from First Flight Airport. Our idea was to stop here and get some lunch and regroup before we flew into First Flight Airport. Cool, oh, man. Speed alive. Engine green. Off at fifty eight. Oh, yeah. Mercy. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I fly it straight. <laughs> well, if I had known you were gonna do interviews with me, I would have you know, got my hair done <laughs> nice yeah. and did some, you know, had the shave all nice and trimmed. But so anyway, but uh, no matter what time of year you go, that's never easy because it's the way the winds are up here. Probably the reason why uh, Wilbur and and Orville picked that place because it's. Uh, the airport is surrounded by trees all the way down to the one end that we're going in today is probably the best way because of uh, the winds are coming down the runway pretty much so we won't get that turbulence but if we were coming the opposite direction it's pretty tricky and I've seen many people come in there and just touch and go and get out of there they didn't, couldn't get in settled in and land uh, last time I was here it was pretty tricky I mean, we were rocking all the way down to about five feet off the ground all wings were back and forth you know trying to stay level all right, after landing, okay with fuel pump off? Yeah, yeah, Okay, sure. fuel pump, landing lights off. It's crazy how much aviation has changed and how much, how much this meant to the world, really. I mean, I was kind of thinking when we were flying in, you said, you're seeing the East Coast now, and I was thinking, I was in Alaska yesterday, <laughs> and now here I am. I'm in North Carolina, and we're gonna be going to First Flight Airport. It just blows my mind. So I'm really excited to see where all that history happened for the first time. First Flight Airport, Cherokee 2575 uniform is three to the south. We're gonna be making left traffic for runway 20. Currently 1,200 for Cherokee 75 uniform. So you see the, the monument and the yep. tree line on the other side? Yep. The runway's on the other side of that in between the two trees, set of trees. Wow. That's what I said. Okay, I see it now. Like for me as a parachutist, you know, we we picture all that all the time because it's we get that when we're close to landing to trees and stuff we feel it actually in a parachute you'll bounce around all over well same thing with the wing on a pair on a plane you'll get that that unstable or or really dirty we call it dirty air mm -hmm. okay you want to try to get in the most clean way to land but you don't have that that capability here at, at uh, first flight not saying you can't do it i mean there's thousands and thousands of people have landed there i mean no big deal uh but for you as your first time in there it might be a little different than what you're used to. This is where it all started. And everybody talks about how tricky it can be going into first flight, but just relax. Be nice and smooth on the controls. Don't over control it. You know, you're going to get bumped. Just ride through it. You know, just like you tell your student, with any student, just mm -hmm. ride through it. Don't over, don't over control the aircraft. Just glide right in and land, man. You'll be fine. Now you see this parking area right here at the end of the yeah. runway? That's the... Okay. museum type thing uh, right in, uh, between that and the runway is where the actual takeoff oh, landing cool. was and you can see the markers that's yeah, how far they it. flew <laughs> wow and it wasn't it's right where the end where the uh, that two buildings there's two tan buildings uh huh that's where they started that's where they flew to how far it was I'm really excited about the history of it and kind of completing that history for myself in a way and coming here, full circle in a way. So I'm so excited to land at First Flight Airport. 
just a couple minutes away um, from here in Dare County. First Flight Airport, Cherokee 2575 Uniform, base to final runway 21. Or 20 or whatever. Whatever it's going to be today. All right, see the flag, the American flag over there in the middle? Oh, yeah. So okay. Direct crosswind. direct crosswind. Just the stuff those guys went through and how hard they worked to make this happen. And they really actually followed their passion. This was a passion of theirs. And very few people were going for it at the time. And it just completely transformed the world. Mercy, man. Get all the power up. Yep, yep, yep. Just hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, yeah. There you go. Nice. I feel like I freaking pay that and you can feel it drop. Yeah. Wow, cool, man. There you go. We did it. Now it's worth lending a bit of perspective to exactly why this airport is so important. So of course we know that this is where the first flight happened. This is where Orville and Wilbur Wright first flew a powered aircraft from takeoff to controlling it in the air to a landing and being in control the entire time. That process only took 12 seconds. That 12 seconds, that 120 feet that they traveled changed the entire world. And so now the world is connected through powered flight. It's changed everything and this is such a big deal that there is a monument here to these men who accomplished this. Looking down on the actual spot where we would soon walk is the location, the place where it all started. This is where powered flight began, which transformed the world in just over a hundred years. I mean, just think how far we've come. Not only have we conquered every continent and almost every part of the world, but we've also taken the principles of flight into space and it all started with the Wright brothers here in the Kill Devil Hills in North Carolina. Subsequent flights, not only after the first flight, but the second and third flight and farther and further. And so we leave behind the place where it all started here at First Flight Airport in the Kill Devil Hills. Looking forward and thinking, where will I let my passion take me? How hard am I willing to work to get there? And where will that take me into the future to make a positive change on aviation like the Wright brothers? Keep calm and throttle on. just had the most amazing flying day ever. 
first flight airport was amazing. I recommend it. Check one off the bucket list. A huge thanks to Dave Herwig for the fantastic time in North Carolina. Also, Cape Fear Aviation for such a great flight school and a place to hang out. Do you dream of being an aviator? Start your journey today at aviatortraining.com. There you can get the free downloadable private pilot action plan, five things to do before your first flight lesson. Check us out on social media through Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks for coming along on this adventure, and I hope you'll join us on the next journey. Until next time, Throttle on.